Uh, it is uh, currently 11 p.m. and I am in a hotel in the middle of nowhere in Arizona. Um, and this video is the story of how I got here. <laughs> So why am I here exactly? Um, well, in this video, I hope to catch you up on the past couple months of my life, where I'm headed and what my plans are for the future. For those of you that don't know, my name is Josh Beasley. I'm a recent graduate from Yale University where I studied computer science. Oh, that still hurts to say. Graduate. Ugh, I, I don't know if I feel like a graduate yet. Anyways, with my journey into the wild blue yonder of uh, adulthood, this channel is slowly shifting away from college and more towards a weird amalgamation of the things that I love in life. Whether that be software engineering, magic, vlogging, reading, photography, learning, self-development, if any of that sounds fun to you, um, hit that subscribe button if you're new here and uh, like if you're excited that I'm finally posting again. So as all of you know, I graduated from Yale University this past May and unfortunately ended some of the best years of my life so far. I'm optimistic though, although I was sad to leave some of my best friends, I had an exciting summer ahead of me. Before I even had time to reflect on my college experience, I was on a flight to Hawaii to escape adulthood um, as a little graduation gift to myself and to make the most of the last couple weeks of freedom that I actually had. Upon returning, I started my summer job, and although I was still technically in the military, I was kind of in this weird twilight area, um, reserve status, where I graduated and I commissioned, but I hadn't, you know, ascended into active duty yet. So they highly recommended that I find a job because it could be a really long time until I actually started my time in the military. In fact, it could have been as long as a year. Um, so it was very important to find a job that I was interested in um, and that was fulfilling and was also able to, you know, pay some of the bills. Luckily, as a proud CS boy, it wasn't too difficult to find a software engineering position um, somewhere close to where I lived. Specifically, I was doing some more research engineering, I would say, um, uh, very similar to what I actually did with my senior thesis, you know, machine learning, AI, um, deep artificial neural networks, that type of stuff. So I was able to apply all of the AI techniques that I'd learned throughout college to a real life position and real life problems. You know, it wasn't any test data sets anymore. We were creating our own unique data sets, training, you know, models on these data sets that, you know, were accomplishing tasks that had never been done before, which was super cool to kind of be on that cutting edge of that. I can't really talk a ton about it, um, but it was super cool that I found something so fulfilling and something that I enjoyed so much that was exactly what I had previously been doing to kind of fill my time during that summer. And obviously, since I was still <laughs> living at home, um, I got to spend probably a little more time with my family than I would have liked, um, but I definitely miss them now. And speaking of now, back to the main question, why am I in Arizona now? Well, eventually I did receive a phone call with the news that I would be entering into active duty and would be moving to my very first duty station, my first assignment. I heard news of this at the end of August and literally had to leave a couple weeks in September. So I think I had three and a half weeks between the time that I heard to the time that I had to be packed up, ready to go. Um, so it was definitely a scramble to one, find out where I was living in my new home, find a, buy a car. I had to buy a car on my own um, and do research on that. Um, so it was definitely a whirlwind of three and a half weeks to get prepared. Uh, not to mention, like, I, I didn't even have the latest, you know, uniform that I was supposed to have, let alone ranks, patches, and stuff that I needed to have sewed on. But I was super excited because I was moving all the way across the country to my new home, which is not Arizona. This is actually just one of my last stops. But my new home is, drumroll please, Los Angeles, California where I will be stationed um, and will be living for the foreseeable future, which is I'm beyond excited about. It's been a long journey out here so far, especially on my own for the past couple days, but I was able to make some stops in you know Nashville, Oklahoma City, Little Rock um, to kind of break up the trip a little bit. And you know, really didn't have too much of an urge to film until I got here. And it's kind of the eve of me, you know, arriving my first, you know, what feels like my first time, like being completely on my own, completely you know, starting my new career, being an adult. You know, it's just like really overwhelming. I'm not, it's hard to put into words, um, but I really felt an urge to film this, just to kind of document this moment and share it with you all. Luckily though, I was able to calm some of my nerves because um, I spent the entirety of today in Sedona, Arizona, just 
hiking my heart out, taking some pictures, flying the drone. But I can't tell you how excited I am to continue sharing adventures like this and the adventures that I'll be having in the future with you. Um, especially since I'm living in such an exciting new home. LA is full of so many creative people and I cannot wait for the opportunity to you know, meet and collaborate with, with new friends. So thank you for all of you who stuck to the end of the video. I know the, uh, the white hotel walls aren't too appealing of a background. And thank you even more to the people who have been here since like the beginning of my college experience. It's crazy that a new chapter of my life is starting and I really do hope that I can continue to document it. If you're excited to stay updated with the new phase of my life, drop a like down below. Um, comment what I should do when I get to LA. I'd love some ideas. Good places to go shoot photography, good restaurants um, for anyone that's local out there. And subscribe if you're new. I, uh, I'm gonna hit the sack and get some sleep before my uh, last, like I think it's a six or seven hour drive tomorrow. But uh, see you guys when I get there.